Yo, what's up guys? Quinn69 here. How you guys doing? Today I'm going to be bringing you guys a pretty different video. This is going to be more of a kickback, uh, kind of real talk video. Where we're just going to talk about some of the upcoming changes. Uh, if you don't know, Season 5 has just ended. It's done. Season 6 is coming out on the 28th of this month. A.K.A. the 28th of, what month is it? Oh crap. April. Uh, so yeah, that's happening guys. And there's a bunch of changes and a bunch of new content. And there's a bunch of stuff that's been happening recently. Which is uh, giving me a bit of a hard on. I mean, uh, you know, made me a little bit happy, you know. AKA things like band waves. Band waves have been happening, boys. So if you don't know, uh, in Diablo 3, in the kind of high end of the leaderboards, even in the, you know, just everyone, uh, there was a huge problem with botting. I, don't, I didn't really like to talk about it. I did ask, you know, some of the developers at BlizzCon and things, you know, what's happening with botting. They didn't really say anything. Uh, but finally, Blizzard have kind of kicked you know, into gear, and they just started banning people. It was crazy. There's been a total of five ban waves now, and um, I've been told numbers of 48,000, but that sounds quite absurd. Uh, but you go to the leaderboards now, and they are desolate. All the people that used to be there are now just banned permanently, gone. And, um, you know, I don't even know how many ranks I jumped up. If you were to go on, you know, if you haven't played Diablo in a while, you log in, um, you would have gone up ranks on the leaderboard because there's just that many people. I, I would say in the top 100... You know, on the leaderboard, the, the majority of them are now banned. It's 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 great, and it really makes me happy. Some prominent streamers uh, were banned. I'm not going to name any names. <coughs> Gabby. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to name any names, you know. It's a bit of a dick move. You know, there, there was a, a bit of banning going on, and that's made me really happy. Not just because I like to watch people suffer, um, but it's going to make the game all around more healthy. And for the upcoming season, a.k.a. Season 6... Is gonna make it that much better. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, after this ban wave, you know, after the fifth ban wave or whatever the hell it is, and all those rollbacks over the previous seasons and all these things, you know, I mean, I don't know how many, you know, ban waves Blizzard have put out, but this was the biggest yet, and hopefully season six is gonna be the cleanest season ever. Fingers crossed, you know. So it could be a really, really great season for you to plan, and that's what I'm most like personally, the most exciting thing for next season was purely the ban waves that happened just recently in season five and that's hopefully going to scare everyone to not cheat next season which should make it a lot you know it's not going to be quite as demoralizing you know seeing all these people you know streamers and stuff who are literally at 24 hours playtime every day for like a whole month which is just humanly impossible just like you know flaunting it and nothing happening and now that's happened now they're gone and uh you know it should be really good on top of that, um, Blizzard have also kicked into gear. We've got, like, tons of cosmetics. Uh, there was a, t a lot of cosmetics. You guys are going to probably see a few YouTube videos coming out from me pretty soon telling you guys how to get the cosmetics. Uh, they added in, like, two new uh, wings, some cosmic wings and some falcon wings. They added in a bunch of pets and a pet goblin so you can, like, loot a bunch of pets. I don't know. It's just kind of cosmetics, fun things to farm, you know, until you've got them all. It's kind of like Pokemon, got to catch them all. And they've added in a bunch of transmogs. Uh, I will be doing videos, probably like a, kind of like a compilation guide for all that transmog kind of stuff. Uh, you might even see a couple of them coming up really soon, so don't worry. And, um, you know, obviously there'll be written stuff. And also in 2.4.1, they're doing a bunch of set balancing and trying to tune the sets. Uh, so last season, season 5, was one of the most balanced seasons in a while in terms of solo leaderboards. You know... Uh, you could see in like the top 10, there would be like m a few different sets, whereas normally it would just be one, uh, you know, one spec over and over again. Obviously, it wasn't the same for all leaderboards, um, but for some leaderboards, you know, Blizzard actually had it quite well balanced. And now they're just tweaking a bunch of the sets um, to try and pull them into line, which should be good. Uh, they did a bunch of bug fixes, and they've also reworked a crap ton of legendary gems. I mean, an insane amount of stuff has been changed to the gems. If you go in uh, to legendary gems, now I could go over them all, but it's going to take too long. Uh, basically, they've just made the majority of gems uh, multipliers now. So, you know, like, you know how Pain of the Trap used to be overpowered because it was, you know, a multiplier. So, therefore, it was just better than, like, everything else. Well, pretty much every gem... Uh, is it every gem? Uh, pretty, much, pretty much every gem. Uh, pretty much every gem is now multi. I, I'm going to be, uh, you know, in all my guides, I'm going to specify that and outline that. And they've also done that to a bunch of skills, um, which has, you know, resulted in a bunch of buffs for a bunch of classes. Um... Also, something I didn't like for 2.41 coming out is uh, the set dungeon nerfs. They're just making it way too easy. Uh, <laughs> so if you haven't got your set dungeon wings already, uh, just wait. 
Wait till 2.4.1 comes out, and they're going to make that even easier. And saying that, you know, they've got the set dungeon wings you've got to get now, you've got to farm those. You've got the falcon wings you've got to farm, and you've got the cosmic wings. So there's still more content to farm, but um, they made the set dungeon wings, you know, the mastery ones, just that much easier, which is kind of sad. And uh, one of the other things, probably the last point I want to talk about uh, on my list here, is the fact that two of my favorite, you know, developers have now moved to World of Warcraft. Uh, that is John Yang, okay, aka the Demon Hunter Master Race guy, who basically, you know, he when, whenever you were watching the Tavern Talks, if you guys don't know what that is, it was like a kind of like Q and A uh, stream for with the Diablo devs, and uh, you know, honestly, John Yang was really clued up, and he always had the right answers, and you know, you could tell he was switched on, and uh, you know, they just he's gone now, so I don't know what that means for Diablo and Don Vu. He was like the Monk Master. Um, you know, he was around, it, not quite as, um, you know, like, he wasn't, like, on all the shows like John Yang was, but, you know, I've seen him around the place, and he was pretty good, and, uh, you know, both John Yang, Don Vu, and I think some other people may have gone to World of Warcraft Legion, and they've just ditched Diablo. What that means, I don't know. I'm hoping it means there's something bigger in the woodworks, and we're gonna see, like, some huge, like, maybe, a, you know, Diablo expansion on the way, maybe they've got a whole other team working for Diablo, that we're recruiting more people. Um, so hopefully there's going to be like a w Diablo expansion or, you know, D4 <laughs> announced at BlizzCon this year. Uh, fingers crossed. Hopefully it doesn't mean they're just ditching, you know, abandoning ship and Diablo 3 is going to die a horrible death. Fingers crossed. Please don't do that. Please. Diablo, we love Diablo. But yeah, that's what's happening. That's the basic um, kind of thing that's happening in 2.4.1. I will be releasing a bunch of content uh, very soon. You're going to see my YouTube starting to get really active i'm going to spam a bunch of videos out so get ready for those and uh we're going to be spamming out a bunch of guides uh all for two point uh, i'd say probably about a week before the patch uh goes live while the season starts on the 28th i'm going to start spamming out some diablo fans guides and they will go on youtube and i'll link them here Ob obviously i'll be uh, advertising my twitch stream and stuff as well but otherwise guys hopefully you enjoyed this little update and uh until next time peace the hell out and have a good one boys